this this was the patent for the uh, original. Toronto inventor Wayne Fromm is credited as the inventor of the selfie stick. I, I used to describe the selfie stick as the world's first handheld extendable monopod. Isn't that got a lot of a ring to it? <laughs> he branded it the Quick Pod. A patent for a similar device had been filed in the 80s, but it was Fromm's $20 gadget that caught on big time in 2011. Yes. The quick pod available at Amazon.com for $17. Camera mad consumers all over the world went crazy for it, even presidents and daredevils. And despite the patent, cheap knockoffs started popping up everywhere. So now not all of these are yours, right? Uh, the best ones are. <laughs> Some copycats even use Fromm's pictures on their packaging. But who are these manufacturers that used your pictures? I have no idea. Have no idea. Fromm did challenge some of the knockoff companies successfully in court, but he simply couldn't fight them all. Unless you're a huge corporation, really it's a battle of resources. That's what it boils down to. A patent doesn't protect you in the sense that uh, no one is going to come running to your rescue. This lawyer says patents do give inventors exclusive rights. A patent gives you the right to sue someone for patent infringement but it's still up to you to do that. And sometimes that can be challenging. Rather have a brand than a patent. Now Fromm is getting ready to launch a new yeah. selfie product. It has a proprietary uh, sticky surface on it. The selfie it stick it allows you to attach your phone or camera to any vertical surface and operate it with a remote. Fromm thinks it will be less annoying than the unwieldy sticks. But his real brainstorm could be his pricing plan this time around. We want to have the dollar stores, we want to have you know, the, the, the Bed Bath & Beyond type stores and then professional camera stores and the Best Buys with the higher price. By selling a $5 model, Wayne Fromm is hoping to beat the cheap knockoff artist to the punch and keep a larger chunk of the selfie market to himself, a market now estimated to be worth $80 million worldwide. Diane Buckner, CBC News, Toronto.